Okay, we're making our regular Gugutsa longa, which is a staple in my family growing up. It's a Sicilian dish. I think it's a Sicilian dish. I know my grandmother and grandfather always grew it in their garden. And here we have a nice chopped onion, not chopped too small, nice and chopped up. And then the gugutsa, which I showed you a picture of, is, um, is basically peeled, seeded, and chopped up into even smaller than bite-sized pieces. I like it like that so when it cooks, it's nice and tender. Okay? So we take the onion and you start to saute it in the bottom of a pan with some olive oil. This is a really simple dish. Okay, now we have the onion going, sauteing nice. We don't want to brown it, we just want to wilt it down. And I added about five pieces of garlic to this, um, just sliced fresh garlic, okay? And we have a nice onion and garlic mixture going. Um, once you have this uh, pretty clarified, which it's almost there, maybe another minute, um, I'm going to start adding in the gugusa to the mixture. I think we're about ready. I'll put it in. So there's your gugutsa. If this was a big fat gugutsa with a lot of seeds that was a little tough, I probably would have given it a par boil first or, you know, boiled it a little bit before I actually added it to this recipe. But because this was such a tender um, gugutsa with very little seeds and it, it, it's probably going to cook pretty quickly, I'm just going to let it uh, saute here with the onion and garlic and cook in the tomato sauce. So we're sauteing the gugutsa now with the onion and the garlic, and I'm going to add a nice big can of fresh, well not fresh, but canned um, crushed tomatoes. If I had fresh tomatoes in my garden, I'd probably use it for this recipe. I added a little water to the can just to get all that flavor out, add it to the mixture, and again, let this heat up and start cooking down. And to this I'm going to add a combination of basil and fresh parsley from my garden. I'm going to add some kosher salt. Don't be afraid. Gugutsa doesn't have a lot of flavor, so you want to make sure you add a little bit. A little bit of pepper to that. And then I'm going to stir this in and we'll come back in a minute and show you how this looks while it's nice and cooked. Okay, I've incorporated all the ingredients and everything is going to be cooking down soon. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to put a lid on this and I'm going to put it, bring it up to a nice bubbly boil, I guess, and then I'm going to reduce the flame to a simmer and I'm going to put the cover on it and I'm going to let it simmer on top of my stove for a good half an hour and let everything um, get nice and tender. That's it. Okay, this has been bubbling up now for a good 20 minutes. And um, it looks like we still need a little more on the squash. It's still not as tender as I would like it to be. But I just want to show you how beautifully this whole dish is coming together. Okay. This is cooked nice now. And the reason why I did this in a skillet is because I'm gonna finish this off with poached eggs on top. Now you can serve this with a pasta if you like. You can boil some pasta on the side and mix this right in and have a really delicious dish of pasta with the kukutsa. But we're gonna make it with eggs because Angelina and I are on Weight Watchers and we're not eating the carbohydrates. So this is a way for us to have our protein with our vegetable and very low, low calories, and I'm gonna break a whole bunch of eggs on top of here, and I'm gonna put the lid back on when I'm done, and I'm gonna let them poach nice in the, in the sauce. I think I got a little piece of shell in there, but I'll dig it out later. Look how beautiful that is. This is a favorite dish of mine. I wait every summer for that squash. You don't want to overcook the eggs. You want to leave them with a little bit of a softer center. And you want a nice piece of Italian bread with this 
um, if you're going to do some dipping and you're not watching your carbs like we are. And that's it. I'm going to salt those eggs just a little bit to add a little bit of flavor. Put a little pepper too. We're going to put the lid on top and we're going to come back in about seven minutes. Okay, this is coming along beautifully. Look at how beautiful those eggs are poaching on top of that delicious sauce with the gugutsa in there. Um, I would say we need to give it a couple of more minutes. I don't want that yolk running all over my sauce. I want it to at least hold together. So we're gonna lit it back up and give it another couple of minutes. Okay, I think we're about ready. That looks beautiful. Those are cooked perfectly. So let's uh, dish this up. We're gonna have two eggs with gugutsa on top each. Well, gugutsa underneath, I mean. And I'm gonna add a little bit of that loose sauce on top. And there you have it. Gugutsa sauteed with eggs, a little bit of salt and pepper, basil, parsley. Very simple and very delicious. Thank you, enjoy.